Hi guys, this is Oleg and welcome to another tech video. Today, as promised, I'm going to talk about Wildlink setup for M1 based Macs. And that's basically covering MacBook Pro, which we're going to have a 16 inch MacBook Pro with new M1 processor, M1 Pro. And we're going to connect it to these two displays, which are LG displays as well. But from the point of connectivity and setup, that would really make, will not make much difference. So we're just going to connect to these guys. I'm currently using CalDigit. If you're interested to see how my M1 Pro base laptop is connected to CalDigit, I recommend you use this video here. Just watch it and it will tell you how to connect it because I'm currently using my CalDigit setup. But I also have Wildlink docking station and as promised, I'm going to show you how to connect the Wildlink and how to set up uh, the software for the Wildlink. Any docking station which is using display link software is going to have the same process of connecting and configuring. So we're going to show it up here and um, let's get started. All right, for, so for our setup, we're going to use uh, the laptop from the Apple. It's a basically 16 inch MacBook Pro and using uh, M1 Pro processor. This is basic configuration. So from that perspective, we're going to use that screen as well uh, because it's ProMotion display. If you're really working with uh, colors and something like a video or photo editing um, unless you're very uh, very confident with your quality of your external monitors I still recommend you use 16 inch uh, display on this particular laptop because it's basically calibrated almost ideally and uh, therefore it's going to be good for true color kind of uh, reflection of what you have on the screen but for the productivity side of the things uh, when you work with Final Cut if you work with any other software including Office and Documents, uh, dual display setup is gonna, really going to help. So let's do a quick unboxing. I'm not going to concentrate on unboxing details on this laptop because you see probably lots of videos about that on the internet already. Our main focus for this video is to set up the dual display using Wildlink and install DisplayPort driver and all the things which are included in this setup. Six and a half hours later. All right, so here's the installation part for the. We need to install Display Link Manager from the Wildlink. So I found my particular uh, docking station. This is UG 16 dk one So once you click on that, you will get the information to download the drivers for DisplayPort. And this is drivers on the Wildlink, as you can see. So the driver get downloaded and I drop it over here. So there are two different versions. I uh, installed 1.6 beta, which is fine as well. 1.5 is okay too, but 1.6 is supporting uh, Monterey as well. And 1.5 is supporting Monterey beta. So since we're running the latest Monterey, I'm installing the 1.6. Once the installation is completed, you will have screens like that. Uh, installation was successful. And there also is notification over here, like uh, there is notification saying that this link display link manager is installed and it's going to have notification option to send to you. All right, so we're closing right now here. Installer would like to access files and download folder. It's fine. Do you want to remove display link manager? No, we're going to keep it for now. Okay, so now when you go into the options over here on the security screen recording, uh, we should have here option to have the wow link. Okay, it's right there. On the top, use Apple Watch to unlock the login screen. Launch automatically after the login. Enable display detected. That's fine. So now we can connect displays to the display link manager. Right, so basically what it does, it's going to go to the top and it's going to be always on the top of your screen. And once you connect the displays, it should give me more options to get managed the displays. All right, well, so let's connect the displays right now. Okay, as you can see right now, um, the information is asking for security and privacy settings over here for recording of the display. You need to enable display link manager, otherwise the screens will not come up. Right now, the screens are coming up. Uh, all screens are available and this screen is also available. So now you can use all the screens there. The only thing which is left to do in uh, display settings, just change the resolution, do display settings over here, and you can change the resolution on one screen. I change it to scale, as you can see. 
change it to scale and the second screen as well and change that to scale as well because by default it's going to be on HD 1920 by 1080 which is not enough for these screens and of course you have your main screen as well with all the XDR options available in promotion refresh rate so that's going to be handy as well now the screens are in proper resolution you can also rearrange the windows here to see what is the screen one what is the screen two and where is your max screen so when you move between the screens it will go and smoothly move from this screen to this screen and then if you move more it's going to go to the next screen okay guys so i'm continuing recording this couple days later one thing which i noticed as well there is an option right now on the new display link driver to allow macbook pros and max equipment to be unlocked with using apple watch so hopefully this thing is working because previously it was uh, not working due to the Apple security restrictions. So now the driver get updated. So if you don't have that option and you're using BioLink or any other docking station which is using, um, which is using Display Link, make sure you go ahead and, la and update to the latest version. Most likely that problem is going to be fixed and you will have your Apple Watch functionality returned back to you. All right, so from my side, that's it pretty much for today's video. If you have any questions, put them in the comment down below. If you're a user of our link and you have similar docking station and have questions, I would be happy to answer them as usual. If I don't have answer, I will try to find it and send it over to you. If you like this video, you know what to do. Uh, do your normal YouTube stuff, subscribe, uh, make sure you share it with your friends. And uh, if you like this video, click like button, of course. And stay tuned for more video to come. So we are in the internet, so we see each other very soon. See you around. Peace.